Welcome back to E-Magazine. Now, if you're just joining us, you're right on time for Gallery Watch. And today joining me is the one and only Isaac Mueshimiwa. I'm going to an accent, like any. we'll just move forward. Thank you so much for joining me, Isaac. He's an actor as well as a comedian. And he's going to have a conversation today with us on the modern, the new modern um, social, I mean, the new modern comedy of Kenya today that has, you know, grown to what it is today. Thank you so much for joining me, Isaac. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Hope you're excited to be your first time right here on... Uh, E magazine. Yeah, this is my <laughs> first time here on E magazine and Metropole. Yes. As a media at all. Mm -hmm. I'll say thank you for hosting me. You're welcome. Uh, thank Don't you for worry. having me. Actually, it's Mueshimiwa. <laughs> Mueshimiwa. Yeah, Mueshimiwa. <laughs> so I want to get to know, first of all, what projects you're working on. You, you know, we mentioned you're a comedian actor. You also, also mentioned, to, mentioned to me that you are a fitness. Um, yeah, a trainer. A trainer, yes. Yeah. So. so tell me what projects you're working on before we jump into our conversation for today. Okay, currently let me say I'm an actor, mm -hmm. I'm a comedian, let me say a comedian who acts, Yes. a content creator, uh, I'm an entrepreneur, a, a casting director, mm -hmm. I run an agency, mm -hmm. and also a fitness trainer, mm -hmm. which means I'm a personal trainer. I've been in fitness industry for more than 10 years, so wow. I will not leave my other... Mm -hmm. industry for another one since yes. God has blessed me with both uh, talent. You're a king of multitasking. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be actually we were having a conversation about commercial modeling um, earlier on. So he's definitely someone who's very, very well informed. And I'm super excited to have him talk about our conversation today. So Isaac, I just want to jump in um, by getting to know your perspective on the role the internet has played throughout the years, especially now in the space where social media is the it thing how has this um played in the role of the growth of the kenyan comedy because right now our kenyan comedians have taken it online sure i will say uh, we are blessed to be kenyans because mm -hmm. uh, according to how i've seen kenyans people and kenyan crowd mm -hmm. kenya is a laughing nation mm -hmm. so lucky enough comedians nowadays have uh, an upper hand or maybe an advantage and like uh Back. our legend mm -hmm. before because of internet yes. you don't have to go through connections Very uh, true. godfathers for for you to showcase your talent mm -hmm. even uh, at at arts in general musicians and everyone yeah. so it's about you to do your thing shoot and then boom mm -hmm. you put it on there and start receiving critics good Mm -hmm. either negative mm -hmm. you take it positive okay yeah and i i believe right now the space we're in today the kenyan comedy landscape has changed in sense that um, you can't really have a full career as a comedian people say it's not very realistic what are your thoughts on that do you agree or you disagree you feel like today comedians can be full-time comedians or I, dis they have I disagree to? because uh i'm a nutritionist mm -hmm. and uh, as, a, as an, an, an example i went to school finishing school but at the end of the day i if i compare the earnings i have through my talent mm. yes and maybe full-time career i'll say it's now time we embrace a uh, art comedy acting uh, in general because yes. as a comedian mm -hmm. uh, many people see me yeah on tv uh same same case to us here but there are actually a lot of people behind us mm -hmm. who are working Mm -hmm. to make this dream true because we are photographer i mean camera people yes. the crew writers mm -hmm. and if comedy pays that means you are creating employment to many people yes so it's time we embrace uh, comedy and acting as a full-time career mm -hmm. uh, for us to empower every youth and uh, to get off this jobless uh, life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. I want to get to know more about your uh, your comedian career yourself. Um, what are some of the things you've been, you've worked on? How do you use social media right now to to get into the space that Kenyan comedians are trying to penetrate into? So, um, according to the project I'm working right on, uh, before mm -hmm. I used to depend on mainstream media. Yes. I was a full time commercial model actor, so I was chasing gigs day after day until one time i remember my lecturer when i was in in college mm -hmm. uh, there was a time a lecturer told us that i'm not teaching you for you to go out there and start looking for a job yes. you're supposed to go out there and create employment and when corona happened i also remembered something because i i really read online yes. and one of a uh, good thing somebody has to do for himself is to add your skills as long as you are a journalist, 
you are supposed uh, to add your other skills, income skills. Mm -hmm. So I decided, since I depend on mainstream media a lot, so I depend on production to call me for gigs, mm -hmm. business people to call me for maybe branding. So it said to rebrand myself, yes. you see. And I saw a gap. So I sat down, evaluated, and I saw a gap in leadership. Mm -hmm. So when you see Kenyan politics, Kenyans in general, and Africa in general, comparing to the other countries, maybe first world uh, countries, yeah. where politics in Kenya and Africa in general is totally a joke. Yes. <laughs> so I decided to articulate the political gap and the leadership gap uh, in artistic way. Mm -hmm. Since I am aware of Kenyan politics, I am that person who follows uh, the current affairs yes. news. Mm -hmm. uh, that's globally. So when I compare Kenya and maybe America, I see American politics is policy-based politics. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Kenya, it's actually abracadabra. A politician will come and say, <laughs> kutoka leo, mkinichagua, bada mezitano, ndagikisha mm -hmm. kutakuwa na mvua. Like, they will promise you rain that will never happen. That will never happen. That's but, true. <laughs> yeah, they will promise you rain, they will come and promise you road, they will, they will even forget and come to your funeral. I've done a, a skit about a politician in a funeral. He appears in a funeral and say, I've decided to pay school fees for this uh, w woman and the person who has the past there is a lady. Yes. And say, so I know this Mze. This Mze was my friend. He, he has no clue about the funeral. The person mm -hmm. who actually died is a lady. Mm -hmm. You're saying I'm Mze. Mm -hmm. What he wants there is a political agenda. Agendas. So I saw all this thing as a comedy. Uh -huh. And as I know, Kenya is a laughing nation. So I decided to do this in an inspiring way, educating way. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I rebranded myself as a Isaac Muheshimiwa. So mm -hmm. I play this political. On political. Okay, fine. Satire. So you found your niche. And Kenyans love such jokes, honestly speaking. That's sure. one of the comedy that, you know, Kenyans just die for. And we, it's relatable because we are the individuals. We are those citizens going through that. We're the ones who are like, these guys are just lying to us in general. So I'm wishing you all the best on that. And I'm so happy that, you know, we have Kenyan comedians doing what they do. And I feel like this has Thank been you. a period where creators have really suffered. Speaking on that, I wanted to know the challenges you faced this year and how you were able to overcome. Amma, you're one of those creators who did not even go through any hardships this year. <laughs> I'll lie. <laughs> Actually, I'll lie when I tell you there are no challenges. Actually, I embrace on challenges because when you meet many challenges, mm -hmm. you actually grow better. Yes. And now you understand where it pinches. Because, Ababu, let me say, as a, an upcoming artist, you have to go through many challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, since you have content in you, so there is budget, maybe hiring equipment, cameras, actually. It's a whole production, basically. Yeah, a whole production. <laughs> so as an upcoming, you have to really rely on volunteers. Yes. So for me, I have many friends in this industry. So many of my actors and acting friends are volunteers. So at, even if you are running a zero budget shoot, you have to cater for maybe their supper, yes, their those lunch. Particularly in, yeah, in, in the, and outs. the miscellaneous uh, uh -huh. budget there. And again, you have to go an extra further step to push your content now. Mm -hmm. How can you just put out your content. You, ca you cannot shoot and put it online. You have now to meet people, mm -hmm. you show them, you meet the real people now. Network. On, yeah, network. <laughs> and again, another challenge I have for my brand. My brand is very expensive. That's what, mm -hmm. I, that's what I noticed after starting it. Now as a Moshimiwa, uh, people and my fans will not understand that I'm acting. Yes. Uh, for example, last, last week I shared a status because I found a fan looked for my number and started messaging me like yeah Mweshimiwa, we have this group of, of journalists and we are gathering information doing this please sponsor us i now really go what ordinary politicians go through yeah. whenever i pass through my hood people Mweshimiwa are saying Mweshimiwa, buy this <laughs> ask this Mweshimiwa, do this you see now my name really changed to Mweshimiwa. now i go what other politicians go through. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, I just want to, because of time, I'm having uh, so much fun with that conversation, but because of time, I just want to go back on the online conversation as my last question for you, because uh, comedy has grown in Kenya right now. We're sure. not we're not in that space. We've got to stand up comedy anymore. Yeah. With online, it's moved further and further. You know, we have comedians emceeing, acting, um, do even other major, major jobs. Now we have businesses 
tapping into comedy as a way of marketing um, to get their product out there. I have so many comedians who are here marketing for ITEL, different, different brands. I just wanted to get to know your perspective on that. Is this move going to you know, grow the comedy industry in Kenya even further? Sure, because uh, again, because of my background, yes. I've been in uh, commercial industry for quite uh, uh, some time. Mm -hmm. And I understood mm -hmm. that uh, in business, you have to make uh, you have to make sense in business to solve problem. Actually, business is a way of solving a problem. Yes. If you have certain problem, then a business will help you solve a problem. Let me say a communication uh, company. Yes. So if you want to communicate with me while you are here, then you have to use a communication uh, means to communicate with me. Now that communication means is a business and mm -hmm. they are solving your problem. So as business people now, you have to brand your business in a way that uh, your product will match such brand. Yeah. And since we artists and the comedians in Kenya have our influence and maybe our creativity, so you really have to help the business grow. So if you can't help the business make sense, then means your artist, your artistical talent or maybe your art mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. Doesn't make so sense. Okay. it's high time for the business now to use the art, at, at, uh, I mean comedians uh, or maybe art, uh, artists in general yes. to brand their product mm -hmm. uh, in a way that it can help them make sense. Mm -hmm. So it's relatable to the comedian yeah, as well. Relating to, cause it's, uh, it's all about audience. Very if true. your audience relate it, if my audience relate with me, then I can able to Get match them. your brand mm -hmm. and maybe make them, uh, maybe reach your brand, uh, understand your brand mm -hmm. better in my language. Because okay. many of my fans maybe might understand politics yes, and, and maybe this not. joke okay. uh, in another, in another right. language. Well, Isaac, thank you so much for that explanation. That was Mushimu Isaac right here on E! Magazine, Metropole TV. You can't call him on his social media platforms. Um, I would have let him share that, but because of time, guys, we have to end the show here. But I'm going to leave you guys with Tasha. She shares with us some of the events that are happening, uh, happening throughout the week. But we'll catch up with you guys on Friday as we share with you what's happening on the weekend. As for now, guys, enjoy the rest of your viewing. Thank you so much for joining us right here on E! Magazine. As for now, goodbye.